Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. It's weather in five, five days and five minutes. And uh, we're going to take a look at what's happening this evening uh, with regards to watches and warnings. Uh, the eastern half of the U.S. is absolutely quiet. Uh, everywhere, east, excuse me, east, pretty much east of the plains. Hardly uh, anything of note uh, other than uh, weak weather systems playing out. The main action is in the west. We have the winter storm warnings up for a large uh, portion of the state of Utah and Wyoming. Uh, winter storm watches surrounding that, winter weather advisories surrounding that, and various high wind watches and warnings and wind advisories. So obviously the west is seeing all the action at the moment. And with regards to uh, total snowfall, we're going to take a look at that. We're going to give the map a moment to load here. Now, what you're seeing in the east, uh, this coating to an inch or two, uh, that's actually in response to a warm front that is going to be approaching here later tomorrow and into tomorrow night. And it is quite possible that some areas in northeastern Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, the Hudson Valley, and into, into Connecticut could see a few snow showers. This is, this is as warm air is beginning to arrive. So even on the outside chance that on some higher elevation, colder surfaces, well north and west of the coast, you put down a coating or a little bit more, guess what? It'll all be pretty much gone by the time we get to daybreak on Tuesday. The uh, west, of course, uh, again, with all the uh, action with that weather system that is out in the west, we're seeing uh, a rather loaded snowfall forecast map there uh, as it fills in. Uh, Hopefully it would fill in a little bit faster. The numbers are populating right now. But uh, we're seeing amounts of a foot or more across the, uh, the state of Wyoming uh, and uh, into uh, uh, also uh, back over into parts of Idaho and down into Utah. It's lesser amounts in Colorado, but it looks like there's some fairly decent snows that are going to fall from uh, Denver westward. And then uh, extending snows at least uh, through uh, late Tuesday in terms of accumulations over back out in the plains and also back out uh, to the west coast where it's been snowing pretty heavily for days in the sierra nevadas but that seems to be winding down on the uh, satellite loop tonight still got a lot of clouds to get through here in the eastern part of the united states you know, you've got this southern feature that ran out the with the upper trough now you've got another one uh, that's swinging around the great lakes so it's hard to imagine how much sun we're going to see tomorrow i think we may see very little of it actually and then of course you're starting to see the Beginnings of the <clears throat> system coming into the west, across the northwest, and then dropping down uh, into the northern Rockies. A little bit of action uh, this evening on the radar. We've got some rain in south central and southeastern PA down into Maryland and northeast Virginia. That's going to play on through. There's a little bit more uh, in the way of precip, uh, some snow uh, moving into uh, parts of eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania. Again, a coating to an inch or so out of that. Uh, some snow up in the western lakes. And you're starting to see the system that's up uh, in the northwest uh, that is moving uh, eastward. So uh, let's let's uh, take a look at where we're headed here as far as temperatures are concerned. Because Monday, I think, is going to be the day. If we can manage to pull out uh, enough sunshine here, which lately has been quite a struggle. You know, if you're, if you're going to be warmer than normal, at least uh, you should have some sunshine around so you'd be able to enjoy it. And instead, we spent at least half the week sitting under a lot of clouds. Well, I think Monday we are going to see some sun. Low 50s north and east of New York City, upper 50s and lower 60s as you go south and west. And these numbers here down in uh, Baltimore and Washington, they've actually been skewed a few degrees lower uh, because uh, it, the push here, trying to get all these clouds out of the way, maybe there will be a little bit less in the way of sunshine uh, to warm things up. Uh, but we're certainly going to try. And uh, we'll still have some leftover warm air around on Tuesday with temperatures mostly in the uh, 50s to a few lower 60s as you go to the south and west. After that, things are going to uh, get a little dicey as far as trying to figure out what the day-to-day -day temperatures are going to be. And by the way, let's not forget for Sunday. Sunday's highs tomorrow are going to be generally uh, in the range of about 40 to 45. I don't think we're going to see much happening uh, during the day tomorrow. So uh, let's jump into next week. We get whatever happens tomorrow night. I'm not really too, in, you know, going to get too worried about a warm front going by, although sometimes warm fronts can do strange things, but um, I'm just not going to uh, spend uh, much time on it. 
Uh, but there it is here. You can see some of the precip that the GFS generates. West to northwest winds on Tuesday, warmer temperatures, the high off the southeast coast. Then we get a cold front that comes through here Wednesday afternoon. There'll probably be some showers ahead of it. Could see some showers here uh, uh, running way ahead come Tuesday afternoon scattered around. And then another round of showers Wednesday morning in the, into the afternoon. Changes over to snow uh, well, well up to the north. That front's going to stall out to our south, and then here comes the a wave uh, that is going to be uh, moving into the southeast and running its way northeastward. The uh, GFS is actually trying to show, and the European model is showing this too, some colder air building in. There is a bit of a high that starts building, not a particularly strong one, but it might be strong enough to filter down some low-level cold air uh, at, after that front goes by later Wednesday into Wednesday night. Whether this is overdone or not remains to be seen. Uh, the, uh, uh, the other option here is that you get a little bit more of a dynamic look to the upper atmosphere uh, that winds up taking a low that cuts out more to the west. That's not impossible, in which case uh, you'll be very limited in the amount of cold air that drains down uh, the eastern seaboard. So this is something I guess we're going to pay attention to. We'll see uh, how things develop over the next couple of days. In the meantime, just enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, do, do join us tomorrow at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern time for the Sunday morning Coffee with Joe and Joe show. That's at 11 o'clock Eastern time on my YouTube channel, a.m., all right? Uh, so bring your coffee and your breakfast and uh, we'll go through everything. We'll have uh, some of the newer model runs out by that time and we can see if we can piece together where we're going uh, this coming week. Also, we know tomorrow is the uh, Groundhog is Groundhog Day, or as we like to call it, uh, Rodent's Day. Uh, he'll make his prediction, and then off he goes to a 350 degree oven somewhere. And uh, now uh, we have Super Bowl Sunday as well. So at least from the standpoint of the Super Bowl, if you're going to parties or you've got people coming over your place, you don't have any. They can't use weather as an excuse. Okay. So have a great night and a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you tomorrow.